Well, I hope you enjoyed that carol. It's one of my favourites. Because of that question in the last verse, what can I give him? What can we give to God to show God that we want to be better people? How can we change for the better in this season of Advent as we prepare for Jesus' birth at Christmas? Do you see the man in the picture? He's very wealthy, but he's very lonely. Nobody likes him because he's a cheat. But this story is about how his life changed when Jesus visited his village. The story is not going to be told to us by a cat, but today the story is going to be told to us by a bird. The bird lives in the tree, and as he looks down on the events of the day, he tells us what's going on. This is the magpie's tale. Hello, I'm a magpie. I live in this sycamore tree. Do you see the ring I'm holding? I found it. Well, I pinched it, really. I used to have lots of things in my nest that I pinched, but not anymore. Let me tell you why. The other day it was very hot and I was sitting in my tree guarding my treasure when I heard the sound of people laughing. A large crowd was gathering below. That was unusual. Nothing much happens round here. So I took a look. The people had lined up along the street. They seemed to be waiting for somebody important. I wonder who it was. Look, even Zacchaeus has come out. He's the short man. He lives in the big house on the corner. But nobody likes him. They say he's a cheat. Zacchaeus is too short to get to the front of the crowd. He's too fat to squeeze through the people and they won't let him past. They're pretending not even to notice him because nobody likes Zacchaeus. Now he's coming over to my tree. I think he's going to climb up it to get a better view. Oh, it's tough work for him. He's only a short man. He's puffing and panting and going red in the face. Come on, Zacchaeus, you can do it. But hurry, the man's coming soon. Just in time, Zacchaeus gets into the tree and peers down. The crowd press around and everyone cheers. Here comes Jesus, they say. Look, I can see him just through the leaves. But who is he? He doesn't look that important. Not like a king or a general. Just like an ordinary man, like one of us. Now Jesus walks over to my tree and looks up. I'm afraid he might have spotted my treasure sparkling in the sun. Does he know that I've stolen it all? I wonder what he wants. Zacchaeus, says Jesus, come on down. I want to stay at your house today for tea. Zacchaeus nearly falls off his branch in surprise. Why would anyone want to stay with him? Nobody likes him. But Zacchaeus climbs down. And Jesus says hello. He speaks to him like he's an old friend. The crowd don't like it at all. They're grumbling. Why pick Zacchaeus? Doesn't Jesus know the kind of person he is? Well, after some time, Jesus and Zacchaeus come out of his house and Zacchaeus speaks to the crowd. Today I'm going to give half of everything I own away and if I've cheated anyone, I'll pay them back four times as much. Today I've changed. Well, the people are amazed. What has happened to Zacchaeus? It's like he's a different man. What did Jesus do? Since then, I've taken everything back that I stole. Things from my nest have been turning up all over town. All that I've got left is the golden ring. Remember, I pinched it from the house on the corner. Zacchaeus left it there one day on a windowsill. Do you think he'll be pleased when I give it back to him? I hope so.